Yesterday in lab, we went and started talking about finding the focus in a, for a lead. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is to quickly talk about hard news leads, what they mean, and finding the focus. So I'm going to highlight, begin by highlighting the five W's as best I can. So I got a who, a what, a when, where, and why. Those are the main those are the five W's. So I'm going to start out with just kind of, and I, I think it's good to kind of just start out by finding, the, in order to find the focus, is just kind of highlight some of the information in terms of those five W's. A delivery driver. Now, you have to decide whether or not for a Chinese food restaurant is important, right? So let's, let's keep going here. So we have two who's, and we can actually list them. So we can just take, take and make make a list of these things as we go along. So, and this is a good exercise for you. So the who. And in this case, if I can type, we have a police, which really doesn't, I mean, I'll talk about this in just a second, but this doesn't necessarily fit into the focus quite yet. And then a delivery driver. These two, elements are really important in finding the focus delivery driver and now we have to go down and then find out what again when you're writing a lead your who and your what are typically the most important elements to put up first so in this case the delivery driver is more important than the police because it, this happened to the delivery driver and then we have a where and then we have a win. The Y is an element that probably won't come up, and the H, how? That probably will not be in the focus. So right now we know that we're going to say the delivery driver is our who for now. And we'll just leave this guy as kind of a secondary element. If that makes any sense? I'll put that second. So this is the main one, the big element right here. So the what, and that's going to be our, our focus. So if we just read this, let's get rid of this guy again for a second, because we're just working through this and making making our list of to find the focus, and which is the main purpose of anything that we do in this class is going to be really have these. If you can figure out what the focus is on your story, you're 80% to 90% there. So we have a, a delivery driver was robbed. We already get us. We have a. We already have the beginning of a pretty good lead right here. A delivery driver was robbed. So just by taking things apart, all this other information. Of course, it's important because it informs you, but it's kind of ancillary to the main point. And I, I think that the what was really important. And this was pointed out in class. And I thank you all for doing that at gunpoint. So this is an armed robbery. That's important. So this is a felony, right? So we're going to do this talking about like, you know, pickpocketing somebody's wallet or something. The apartment complex, right? And so we have to decide if this fits or not. So for now, let's just say downtown Atchison. And then we'll, we can put in this information. Let me go ahead and just put it in just so we have it. And we can get just kind of not highlight that for a second. So we can see it as we build it. It was robbed at gunpoint. And this is a complete the idea for it at, in downtown, um, downtown Atchison at 314 Santa Fe, because people need to know this. They need to know that that area is not safe, right? So we need to decide whether or not our focus is going to include this. So what is the focus? A delivery driver was robbed at gunpoint. That is the focus. Now we have that really clear. And when? Because it doesn't say specifically yesterday, right? So what is, if today is Tuesday, let's just say Monday. Okay, 
So we got these things, and why? Don't worry about the why, because I think um, we don't it, we don't have the why. Why are we robbed, right? Why do people get robbed at gunpoint? So let's just take this information and be able to craft um, a focus or lead from this, right? And then we have to put the second who in here because we need to have an attribution. This information comes from somebody, and we need attribution. Attribution is such an important part of our writing. So I'm just going to go and put attribution. Somebody needs to um, be own up to this information. It just doesn't come, you know, f without a source. So this is basically attribution is your source, and then we can have the police. And then we always use, in terms of um, the attribution, we all say police said. So let's go read this again. And then a delivery driver was robbed at gunpoint. Was robbed at gunpoint. And then let's put in the time. Monday. We don't know if it's afternoon or morning. So let's not speculate. Let's work on facts. Monday. Not that necessary. So here's another really important thing that we that we need to include. Comma. Police said. We need to make sure that we have this attributed. So I hope this is clear to you and we see this a little bit better. Let's just make sure. A delivery driver was robbed at gunpoint Monday at an apartment complex in downtown Atchison. Police said, boom. So as we're reading through the what we have here, the lead, a delivery driver was robbed. I think one thing that may be really helpful is to, because it's local and people know this, know this restaurant, I, you might want to, I know it's going to make it a little bit longer, but I, we might want to take this information and just add it here. A young dragon delivery driver was robbed at gunpoint Monday at an apartment complex in downtown Atchison, said, a police said. So this, I think, is might be really helpful to you in terms of just getting started on how to take things apart and um, understand kind of what we're looking for. And I hope this is helpful. Um, you have to kind of distill all the information. And like I said earlier, it is like a puzzle. So we have all this information. You have to decide what's the most important. And what we're looking here, a Young Dragon restaurant delivery driver was robbed at gunpoint Monday at an apartment complex in downtown Atchison. In the, in the following, in the nut graph, we would put in the apartment complex address, um, the threat, those kinds of things. I mean, so there's a lot of extra material that's in this information that we have to decide um, whether or not whether or not we need it. So okay, well I hope this 